Okay, so with this dish, we're going to be using carrots, uh, celery, leek, onions. The aromats will be uh, thyme and bay leaf with peppercorns. Um, obviously, puy lentils, some smoked pancetta, sherry vinegar, white wine, and of course, regal Marlborough salmon. Now, first off, we're going to put a little bit of heat under a, a bigger pan. I've got some lentils cooking already. Uh, they, they'll take about 12 to 15 minutes to just cook through. And we're just going to lightly uh, pan fry off the pancetta to give it that, that roasted flavour. But it's all going to be in a stock anyway. Um, so a little bit of olive oil. You don't need too much heat. It's just starting to get the flavours out of the smoked pancetta. While that's heating up, we're going to prepare the vegetables. Now, um, I did this dish a long time ago at Claridge's uh, in Mayfair, London. Uh, and it's called Alarous vegetables, which are just finely sliced vegetables. Uh, and that's getting all the flavour into the cooking liquor um, for the salmon to poach in. So as finely as you can, uh, cut up the carrot and the celery and leeks. And you'll be using about two small carrots for serving for four people. I can just hear the pan's getting a bit hot there, a little bit of water in there. So I'm going to add in the pancetta. Let's let that sit and let it sweat. Ooh. So again, with the celery on the angle, with the leek, not so much, just straight down. So it's a great way of poach, uh, cooking fish poaching, especially with salmon. It's a very delicate fish, keeps its shape very well. And it's one of those dishes that actually looks quite posh, but it's not. Um, salmon is, is quite a cheap um, fish. It's, it's not by any means expensive, but it's very, very tasty. A lot of restaurants use it. I have it on the menu at Solbar. So give the pancetta a little move it around. You can, you'll start to see some of the sediment on the bottom of the pan. Uh, which is good, it's where all the flavour is, so it's starting to caramelise off already. Once we have that stage, get the, all the vegetables in there. You don't want to sweat, you don't want to cook the vegetables in the pan with oil or with any colour. All we're doing is introducing it to the heat. Add your bay leaf, one bay leaf and a little sprig of thyme. And we're going to give that a little stir before adding the white wine, water, and vinegar. So you can see, this is going to be the, the actual veg part of the dish, and it's smelling gorgeous already. Some peppercorns in there. You only need about five to six peppercorns. Now, use about uh, a glass of white wine, 170 mils, which is about that. Save yourself some to have a drink if you're under, if you're of age. Uh, a little bit of sherry vinegar. Which sherry vinegar is a little, little nicer than white wine vinegar is. Um, so two tablespoons of sherry vinegar. Um, now you're going to add the water straight from the top. Just enough water to cover it and allow, allow the salmon to poach. So as you can see, just topping over. Uh, now for the salmon, um, you can buy salmon already prepped. And it's on the, actually on the skin. Um, now, you need about 160 grams per portion, uh, which is actually enough, I think, uh, for, for a serving, especially because you're garnishing it with all the vegetables and the lentils. Now, the, the lentils are actually cooked, so I'm going to strain these off. They're cooked, and you can just let them just sit aside. It uh, doesn't matter if they cool off. Now, with the salmon, I'm, I'm going to take the skin off because we're poaching the fish, so you'd leave the skin on if you want a crispy skin uh, but because we're poaching it. And now, there's not much fat on this fish. It's a beautiful cut. Uh, and it's, it's, salmon is so good because it's a great source of omega-3. And so just trim off a little bit of the fat there. And a lot of restaurants, you're, a lot of chefs will actually take off all the brown of the... Um, of the fish, which is just the blood, which you don't need to do. It's, it's all going down the same way, and it's, it's, it's part of the flavour. So once the, the actual vegetables um, are just coming up to simmer point, so just going to let that in. As soon as the, the fish is dropped in, actually just take it off the heat. Take it off the heat and just let it sit, and sit for about 12 minutes. This will ensure that the fish won't overcook. Um, and so it's nice and succulent. It's taking on all those flavours very, very slowly. Uh, and we can start to reheat the lentils and more of the vegetables with the stock when the salmon's cooked. So that's going to be about five minutes. OK, so the lentils are cooked. The salmon is now cooked. And we're going to take some of the veg and the bacon and introduce it to the lentils. And so you're just reheating the lentils again, uh, leaving the salmon in there. So this is, gonna, this, is your, now this is your finishing product. OK, so the salmon can come out. 
the salmon is just, just cooked. I'm using a bowl plate because you're going to have a lot of the broth uh, covering the, the salmon. And we're just going to take all that, so it's like a soup, soupy kind of dish, very wintry, and just lay that over the salmon. So there you have it, lightly poached regal Marlborough salmon with winter vegetables, pre-lentils and smoked pancetta. Mm -hmm.